Hi, I'm Tero Pajanen, the guy you can see punching on the bag in the video. I'm one of the founding members of the Finnish Chess Boxing Club. In this 3 minute short video I'm gonna go through the key elements which I find very useful and I hope that they're gonna be entertaining and informative for you as well. The first thing that I want to emphasize and as a small tip to you is actually the goal light. It seems very obvious but it's very hard to maintain and take part of your exercises. So one way to do it actually is to avoid utilizing the heavy bag. Instead, choose a smaller or lighter bag which you can see as an example in this video. Okay, so now that you got the idea, the next thing I want to emphasize is to think about like tapping the bag. It's not about doing those crushing power punches, but just snap it and tap it. So go light and easy. By doing this, you're actually saving some energy and it's more, well, technical in a way. Because you need to focus on some smaller details such as like your footwork, your balance, shifting, slipping, protecting the chin, and working around the bag. During this video, I actually chose to stay quite a lot on the same spot, but I truly encourage you to work around the bag. Let the bag move you. It's not that you are actually moving that much in the bag. It's like being in the ring. I mean, you need to read the opponent. The same thing applies with the bag. And of course, like I can see in here, make sure that you sometimes you get closer to the bag, sometimes you get distant reach. Okay. Also, make sure that you don't all the time aim for the chin. It's very important that you change from the chin to the body, from the body to the chin combinations. Great boxers are very good on their footwork. I'm not saying that I'm a great boxer, but I truly encourage yourself and myself, of course, is to think about strong legs, but keeping them really light. One technique which I find very useful, but it's very hard to master, is the art of fainting. I think that's the English word. I mean, it's like when you throw a fake jab, but for example, then you switch it instantly to, let's say, a cross or to a hook. That's one thing which I really want to improve. And I also encourage you to do that as well. And that's really good for this kind of exercise when you work it. Very light, but fast on the back.